everyone. Here we are with 13. So we find the value K such that that thing, that quotient has a remainder of nine. Well, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. Oops, just so it's in a polynomial in descending order. All right, minus 30x minus 18. And for me personally, I like to see the x plus 3 on the denominator, not so much the 3 plus x. And again, because I have a, uh, a linear factor down here with a lead coefficient of 1, I'm going to try synthetic division. All right, so let's see. I would have put then the negative 3 here, and I would have had 1, negative k, negative 30, negative 18, and keep in mind that when I do the remainder, I'm supposed to get 9, right? That's the key piece here. So let's do this. So if I bring the 1 down, great. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Um, this would then be negative k minus 3, whatever that is. And now I need to do negative 3 times negative k minus 3. And if I distribute that, and it's fine that it has a letter, it would be 3k plus 9. Okay, no problem. And then I'm going to, again, I'm going to add negative 30 to that. So this would then be 3k minus 21. And now I want to do negative 3 times 3k minus 21. So if I play that out, that's going to give me what? Negative 9k plus 63. And here's an equation sitting here. Because what you know is you know negative 18 plus this, and I'll, I'll put it in parentheses, negative 9k plus 63 that should equal 9. And so let's play this out. This is negative 18 minus 9k plus 63. That should equal 9. So I'm looking at negative 9k plus 45 equaling 9. I'm just combining like terms. I'm going to subtract the 45 over. Let me move up here so I don't run out of room. I would have negative 9k. That would be equal to negative 36. And when I divide by negative 9, I'm going to get k equaling 4. And there is my answer. All right. Thanks so much, everyone.